Hey guys, I'm Paul Diepman from Hunchback Music and I'm gonna do a breakdown from the Daredevil trailer. Let's just dive into the trailer and then I'm gonna go through every little segment how I've been creating this. Here we go. Would you believe it if I said I missed you? No. I need your help, Matthew. You're the only person I can trust. Oh, sweetheart, you don't break into my house and then talk to me about trust. What do you want from me? You fight better than anyone I know. And I have information. The Yakuza never left. That's impossible. I drove them out of New York City. No, you didn't. They just hibernated and watched you take out all of their enemies. Now, New York is ripe for the taking. If we do this, nobody dies. Do you understand? Hungry? Every time I walk up those stairs, I wonder if today's the day you're dead in your living room. There are horrible things happening in this city. I'm done apologizing to you for who I am. This city needs me. This isn't your city anymore. My way isn't working. What if that never happens? The battle has begun, Matthew. There's nothing we can do but fight. They're called the Hand. You cannot stop what we have started. The rising is coming. You've been working out, by the way. I appreciate that. So there you have it. That's the, the Daredevil trailer for Netflix. Um, and a lot of people always ask, like, how does something like that start? And uh, most of the time you get a brief uh, from Netflix or maybe like a, a media house in between an agency. Uh, and sometimes it's a combination. So what you can also have is that you create something kind of without having a trailer, without even knowing that it's for something, but you just write something uh, in the blue, kind of that has a little bit of a trailery sound going. And this is actually how it started. And then later on, uh, the guy from Netflix picked it up and they said, hey, this is uh, a really good fit for Daredevil, but can we kind of customize a few pieces? So it started off as kind of a completely free project to say like, hmm, what kind of style is it? And uh, then again, like how do you dedicate what kind of atmosphere it will be? Of course, within trailer music, there's a little bit of a structure that you can follow. And this is already quite some time ago. So I believe this project started a little bit with an atmosphere to say, hmm, I, I want to create something dark. I want to create something gritty. And I believe... I started with a little bit of the droney sound, the sound designy music, almost like atonal. So let me uh, dive into uh, Ableton here, so you can see a little bit of the project. It's already quite old. There's a few uh, stuff missing, uh, but it wouldn't really make uh, make a difference because it's a few extra layers of risers. Uh, but you can see it's uh, 110 channels, um, a lot of uh, effects, a lot of like uh, contact library used, a lot of uh, external libraries used, a lot of layering. Uh, and to begin with, I want to start with a little bit of the opening, the drones. So what did I do exactly here? Let's see. We have here a little bit of a, a cool drone. Let me check it out here. Let me listen to it. It's a little bit of a hunting sound. So this is how the trailer starts. Just a little bit of an atmosphere. Which I believe it was a sound that came from a pack, I believe... But it doesn't do much, but it does give a little bit of that eerie feeling that you want. So we keep layering 
So we keep layering on the blue, you see, I call it my drones. It's kind of like the grouping that you have a little bit. So you take a little bit more of that. And you need to start to get people into a certain hmm, yeah, feeling, kind of from the, from the get-go. So you want people to dive into this trailer and say, wow, okay, I'm diving straight in. Maybe you have another sound here. It's just all very atmospheric, not really musical. Just sounds. And here, here we go. So we have a little bit of like a moment. So after, I believe, 30 seconds, we dri drive a little bit of this. Here, even a little bit of this metallic sound. There is some rhythm to it because it's coming in. There's even a click to it, actually very bad. This is something that you need to uh, get out. It's the, the clicks kind of exist from cutting a sample or cutting audio um, without kind of having the, the front waveform cut on the right direction. Okay, so we have a few of these sounds. You're like, okay, like, doesn't do much. It's more of almost like a sound designy part. So let's listen to this whole group as, as a whole, as kind of the intro. How do we, what do we have then? So we have here a little bit of the... The sound you hear, the droney hunted growl. You have the demon choir here. You have a little bit of um, yeah, these sounds extra. And of course, if you look down to like the green part, these are my risers. This is the kind of the longer risers that I that I create. And there's also the FX reverses, which is most of the time smaller. It doesn't really matter how you call it. It's just for me to know where it is, and it's good to bounce it eventually. So let's see. So we have this sound. Coming in, and then after 30 seconds, we have a little bit of a difference here. The clicky. And even the clicky part, it doesn't really matter because uh, sometimes I leave these clicks in, uh, especially to have an attack on the hits. So if there's a hit and I want it kind of to pierce through the mix, these little mistake kind of edits that I've created uh, actually work great for a little bit of an attacky vibe to the kick, so it punches through the mix a little bit. Then we have this part, so we are listening to the first minute, kind of the world building, the setup, the setup of the trailer. Sure, this is as a, as a, as a whole, hmm. yeah, okay, it's fine. But we want a little bit more than that. It's like, is it really pushing it? Is it really, is, is it really giving it like a little bit of character? Like after, like, what is it, 15 seconds, you want kind of a new suspense moment. So let me add this, layer of risers with that so drones we have the risers so now let me go from 17 here and now you feel there's a little bit of that rise so that that sound that's kind of building up you want it to kind of constantly have this yeah this kind of feel that it builds to something like okay, it's coming. It's coming more near to you. This, 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 the, the, the action, the, the, the moment, the, the suspense is kind of building up. And it's what is it building to exactly? You want to know. You kind of like you want to push these people on the edge of their seats and say like, hmm, where is this story going? Where is this setup going? Ooh, and there it goes, kind of to the first break. So. Now you have the drones, kind of the sound design part, the atmosphere. You have a little bit of the, the risers to it. Let me add some bass sound to it. So you have here, uh, it's just in the beginning, it's just a few of these basses, sub hits. It's not even a hit, it's kind of more of a sub bass coming in. And that gives a little bit more character to the beginning. So you have like your atmospherical sounds, and then you have the little bit of the sub bass here. Okay, let me also add the, the hits to it. Just a few here. So just to give it a little bit more of an accent here. So it's not just atmosphere. There's a little bit like, okay, this is some serious business. This is um, kind of an explosion, but not too much. Like you don't want to give it away. You know, you need to build up to something. So here we go. Another one. Very distorted, very crackingly uh, it's kind of a layer of a few sounds so it's a little bit of the oomph it's a little bit of the the, the low end then compared with uh, or kind of layered up with a little bit of like the texture that you hear above it just two after one another so you get like the more textured one and a little bit more shubby hits now it's rising and rising let's listen to this Oh, 
All right. Oh, and then it instantly stops. So there you have kind of your first setup. So you, we, we have created here a part and there's actually even more percussion to it. I didn't even see this. There's like an extra percussion layer that uh, created, but it's, it's not going to add too much. It's just a little bit of the texture. Um, what does add a little bit of the suspense. So you have this one minute, let me see, the one minute uh, beginning, kind of the how to set up the story. You have the drones, you have the, let me see, you have the bass, just a few hits. Uh, then I don't, we don't have horns yet in the beginning, just do not give it away. A little bit of extra percussion here. I believe it's just hits. Then we have the hits where just a few layers, I believe three. Um, to make up the setup of this of this piece. And then again, like a trailer, most of the time it's like two minute 30. Sometimes you have a promo that can be a minute, sometimes even shorter. Um, then this is rather long, although uh, this whole piece is, I believe, in total, like uh, a little bit more than four minutes. That's too long for a trailer, but then again, you cut down. So eventually when it's got placed, like we make little sections, you call it kind of cue. So maybe we use a little bit of the intro cue, um, and it doesn't really matter if you create something in the blue and there's not real a, a, a real a placement to it yet. You can actually create a little bit bigger pieces. Also great for editors to pick what they like. Maybe the, the, the start of it was a little bit too long. And indeed it was because they used just a part of it. And then they go into this natural kind of break that you have. So you rise up to something. You have a little bit of this interval where it becomes quiet. And then we go to the next section. Let me dive into the next section. We have like the atmosphere building up now. What else do we have then? So now we have a little bit of horn action. So a little brass, a uh, little bit of extra sub. So atmosphere has been set. Now we are pushing through to kind of like a little bit of a conflicting part. So let's go a little bit to where we were from the intro to that little pause to the second section, act two. Piano notes. And we dive deeper. Very simple. And again, there's rhythm, there's a little bit of that. Okay. So this part is uh, is kind of a, uh, it's very simple. It's just a very repetitive thing, very atonal. It's, it just keeps kind of hanging on this part. Uh, but it does kind of changes the, the pace a little bit. So you have first this very atmospherical, almost like ambient design, sound design part where it's like, yeah, it feels gritty. It's a darker world. It's kind of like a little bit of a Gotham City. And now we are changing the pace. It's like, okay, now we know which world we are in. Now we need a little bit of the, what's going on? What's going on here? <laughs> so uh, let me see, what else? We are adding a few extra things. So we have the brass, it's just a, a few extras. And I think there's a little bit more hits. So let me see, go back from the little break parts, little pause, you have the little piano notes, tiny suspense. It's been done a lot though. I need to solo some extra stuff here. Solo the brass section, solo the bass section. Guitar comes later. Drone section, we do a little bit more. We actually, we cut down a little bit on the drone so to make room for uh, all the next stuff. And we have the shorts, risers, A, VFX. Then again, we have the hits. Let me fold it. Extra percussion is not going here. The choir also not. We have also no, uh, there's actually two extra percussions here, just probably for me. Then we have the solo. Okay, now everything is solo incorrectly. Then we have the strings, uh, I believe. Yeah, okay, that goes into the extra. But let me solo it already for you. The basses, you hear like the pulse section. Guitar, we wait for seconds. We have the drones, the, the risers, and we have the short fix. Okay, from the piano. So you have a little bit of that quiet part, and then you go. Okay. Dark, daisy, very simple, dulcy, little rice, little tiny reverse, make it a little heavy on the snare, 
And then the second part of this kind of breakdown. Here we go. So now it becomes dramatic. Here's some strings. Some sound design again. A little bit more of the drones actions are kicking in on the second part of this breakdown. Okay. Oh, let me see. There's some guitars as well. Okay, so you get the point. So we have now the the kind of it's a two parts. You have the first part, the setup. Now you have a little bit of that pause in between, kind of to make a natural selection for editors. Also to break up kind of the X, Act Two. Okay, now things are getting a little bit more tense, and and uh, we we are into it. So you need to kind of add, and you need to make sure that the suspense is constantly rising. So the the short ones that you see here down. There's a little bit more in between and the long ones are kind of rising a little bit longer into the full part. So you want to keep the suspense as much as you can. So the moment where you're kind of dropping, you're like, hey, okay, this is getting a little boring. Try to build it up. So it's not like a, a nice techno song where you can have more of a flow or kind of a sea of these emotions kind of things are adding and adding and adding. It needs to be a little bit more fast paced than that. We have this part and then we have bases like this coming in. So let me see if I can... Solo it separately here. A little bit of an extra bass. So you have just this part and then the strings. So you have just a few parts and then the brass. Let me see what we have here. Very distorted, almost droney as well. And with some like crescendo risings here. Very digital almost, but it kind of fits because it mixes in with the whole thing. Therefore, the, the greediness, the distortion that you hear, it doesn't have to be complete orchestral in that sense. Let me see. And we had the guitar. What's the guitar doing here? Let me listen to it. It's just like a little... Ding, 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 ding. Just to set a little bit of the, the greediness. It's kind of far away, so you don't really hear it that much. And then in total, this part... Let me see if I can isolate something else for you guys. A little bit of extra percussion. It go completely open. Here we go. And we did this the second part of the breakdown. Okay. We go a little bit like heavier on the drums. So a little bit more frequent. Let's see what we have here. Tick -tick -tick. A little bit of glitchy stuff in between. But still, like you, you feel like it's building up tense. It's building up. Like you want to relieve this moment. Like wh where is it going? <sighs> Ooh. We have that little pause again. What are we going to do? Okay. There it gets a little heavier. So again, you have like the first part, very atmospherical, very drony, very sound designy, setting up the bass. The second part, kind of like, okay, serious, we 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 understand this world, we we accept that this world is uh, problematic, but we see there is some conflict, and now you build up this tense. Like, why is this like weighing so heavy? Kind of you want to bulk up on this moment where you kind of feel like I need a resolution to this. I need something to go right, or in this case, kind of extra wrong. <laughs> so um, now you have built up the space, which is kind of act two. And I think I break up the climax into two parts with an, uh, another break in between. So this is the first climax that you have, not particularly the structure that you have to follow, but uh, something that worked out for this song. So again, you have this, the small pause, and then we go a little bit more climactic. Like you want the satisfaction of like building this up. Uh, I think everything is like in solo now. Yeah, let's go. So let's see what we are adding to it. Oh, we have, the, uh, we have an extra brass section. Let's isolate that first. These two brass sections and see what, what, what's going on here on the climax part. Okay. So it's a big layers of, and I believe I used, um, uh, I think it was a little bit of signal, if I'm uh, not right. That's kind of the synthetic kind of vibe that you hear from the from the horns. I think I distorted a lot of kind of orchestral horns. Uh, Chimbasso is in there. A lot of crescendos, kind of the the ones that are rising up. Uh, just to kind of link these horns together. 
And it's, yeah, it, it was, of course, very much used in uh, into the, the famous Inception, Hans Zimmer horn. Every trailer had it. Um, this is, of course, a little bit of a variant on it, a variety on it. It's um, still, it's a little bit cliche now. This is already an older trailer, uh, so it makes sense. Uh, I think still, actually, it has been used quite a lot. It is very effective, uh, but we have heard it a lot, though. Uh, works pretty well in the mix with this. So let me mix all of all the, the things in the climax, in the first part of the climax. Let's see what's going on. More percussion. Deep droney horns, grass. So that's it's going a little bit wilder here. Okay, so this is uh, this is definitely some some stuff is happening in this kind of uh, world. And at the, at the beginning, I I didn't know it was for Daredevil because I was just writing this in the blue. Later on, uh, actually, we we got asked to do do this for Daredevil and kind of make some iterations. And I I believe if I remember correctly, this piece didn't have so much drums in it. Um, they want it was kind of more of a slow pace, like you had like low and like big hits, but long. And they wanted to have a little bit more of that action pace to it. So this extra drums, I believe, was added later, especially, especially for them. So you have these, this is brass. We have the extra percussion. Let me see here. Yeah, so you have these quite conventional drums. Pushing through. And funny enough, in the trailer, uh, and we were gonna check it out in the end one more time, they isolated this. So uh, when you deliver something like this, it's not that you just deliver the mix where everything is in, you deliver the stems. And the stems are uh, practically just the groups that you are making for them. And then the editor sometimes can choose like, hey, uh, what I'm doing kind of now, soloing some of the channels, picking like, hey, why don't we just use this uh, individual channel or individual group separately so that's what they do uh in the in the last part of the trailer you just heard the drums separately never really in this creation as a mix so okay we build up to this other group let me see oh we have a little bit of strings all right definitely you know uh it's a little bit of like a dis distorted yeah with some effects on it Pretty cool, uh, just as an addition to it. So we built this part, it's a little bit climactic, somewhat satisfying, but we want to go over the top. And I think they asked it as well. It's like, we love this ending, but can we make it like one go to 11, you know? Like this this last part needs to go wild. So it's pretty, so we, we, we skip in another break. Build, 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 build. Here you have a little bit of that breathing almost. Okay, see here the risers, stopping a little earlier. Okay, so what's happening here? Let me solo a little bit of this uh, just for you to see. So the long risers are the ones that are kind of building up a little longer. Short risers are just that little accent to the end. It's kind of you ramp up exponentially just to have that little whoosh factor. It can be anything. Make sure if you're doing this that you... Uh, because if you layer so much, then you need to be very careful with all the frequencies. So maybe filter out the lows, uh, especially if you're not needing them. Uh, because if you layer so much, especially with kicks and all the drums, make sure you know, um, be very careful with your low end because it becomes muddy very fast. So let me see, just the reverse and the risers in this little break part are... Okay. All right. And there, there you go. So we ha there's like this little kind of pause earlier than kind of when the when the, the the full climax kicks in, and that just gives you a little bit of that complete quietness where you're like, okay, and now the roller coaster is completely loose, uh, and that's what you kind of want, you know. So you want to have like these these parts, and especially for an editor, it's nice to say, hey, this part is great. Let me cut in that part from uh, let's say this break to the climax. Uh, and they can really shift around with this. So let me see. There's uh, definitely more uh, uh, brass. Oh, no, the brass actually, yeah, there's more brass going on here. The, fir the, the first and second. Let me see what's going on into the climax. Let me. Okay, it's a little bit more Batman lower. Very noisy. Yeah, 
noise build up. So this is definitely a mix between orchestral brass, like you have so many brilliant libraries to use that, which is the, the, the conventional way. I use a lot of different ones just to layer it, really listening to the sound, uh, which one is speaking to me more. I love to uh, combine kind of these electronics to it. So sometimes I'm boosting up noise. It can be an effect, but sometimes it's also in the synthesizer itself. Occasionally I create it myself as well. So you have these presets, especially in your downtime where you're like, hmm, I'm not really like into creating or maybe uh, a little bit creative fatigue, melody fatigue. Then I mostly dive into these moments where I create my own presets. So it can be synths and it's like, hmm, this sounds already very traily. We're like a bass drone. And then you use these in these productions. I believe uh, this was a complete combination when just creating. It's like, oh, we need a brass. And from like two layers, it became like four to five. And just you add up and... Uh, just be careful with the frequencies. So I would say just EQ the best way possible. Mix it a little bit. Also, don't worry too much. Like just use your ears when you're going over something like this. Do you still hear these elements? This has been quite full. So I have to say it's to some extent quite muddy. But yeah, it, it, it still serves the purpose. If we have way more drums, let me isolate it a little bit. Um, here we have the drums. Oh yeah, and there's a, uh, a choir. It's kind of like a, a, vo a very weird process voice. Let me first go over the drums here. In the big line. Okay. So there's a little bit of an uh, reading in it. Not really drum. There we go. So what you hear is there's a lot of like this detail work in it. This is some, this is not always necessary. Like it's uh, it's probably gonna you lose this in the mix. But I, I love to have like these little glitches in between. I I always have been a huge fan of Trent Muller, and he did like all these crazy glitches. Uh, this more of electronic stuff that he did, but brilliant to me. So I guess it's just something that I love to create. But then again, this is a, this is a funny one because in the end, of course, you had the climax. So you have the first part, the setup. You have the conflict. You have a little bit of the resolution or at least kind of keeping people on the edge. Like what's what's going on? Like all the action is going and you kind of want to end up with that question mark. Like is Daredevil going to solve it? Is it going to be all okay? Is it going to be a happy ending or not? But then again, for a climactic park and especially if they ask, can we go bigger? And that's mostly what things in, in Hollywood or like big game trailers are asking, can we go a little bigger? But we already had a little bit of a climax. So how can you make this more, more drums, more horns, more layers? Sometimes the mix doesn't let you. Uh, there's this nightmare stretched... Um, voice that I thought was pretty interesting. Very weird audio processing. So people would say, why have you put that in there? But uh, let's listen to this voice and see what's going on. Nightmare. Oh, here we go. Very spooky. And funny enough, this, this stretching is very bad. Like uh, this... this Audio stretching that I did here is not great. Uh, although it mixes in right in, like very eerie, very... It, it added to that climax, and here I'm even doubling it. And I think stretching it more... Very spooky. It's kind of very horror. I'm reversing it here, just to have that natural rise again. So then together, so you have that climax. So let's take it from the break. Here we go. Okay, so that was a little end hit from the from the previous part. String. Ooh. What's going on? Okay. I will tell you what's going on. This is what's going on, boys. So very dramatic, very dramatic. And then again, like you can't hold the audience too long with this. So uh, you constantly need to add. So this is, I believe, three minutes. Like uh, it's 30 seconds, uh, a little bit longer, 40 seconds. And I believe they cut away um, a small part from this. Uh, so not the full thing. So then in the end, that's kind of where you see the layers. So let me go from 29. Let me see here. Go. A little bit extra. One more time. Reverses. Is... 
So the drums go pretty wild there, uh, quite conventional as well in a track like this. I'm, I'm, I don't really see it nowadays too much that there's like so much drums. It's very particular when people ask this, but I think it's um it's it's now a little bit more sound design heavy. So when it's like slower and like pacey, that that kind of works. Although for this one, I think it fits pretty well. And then of course you have so this is the end climax. Uh, let me see if I can isolate something more. If I can show you, yeah, you see there's some doubling down. Uh, what I'm doing is I'm putting an octave higher in the brass. So the, all these like hits that are coming, like an octave higher, like it's even more, even more. Uh, let me see the strings here are pretty wild here. I think I, uh, of course, I make all audio files of it because it was just better to show you guys here. Uh, maybe later on, we're going to do all as well, where you see like all the plugins used and how we design all these things. Yeah, let me listen to the string section. So this is just to make it kind of like a dramatic layer. And this is kind of, it's hanging here. You hear an octave higher, just as an extra layer to make that ending like tiny bit of a volume automation there to have it also rising. And then of course you have another small break. So everything rises to the moment and it just goes to that quiet moment. So let me show it. And then you have the title hits. We always call it of kind of the encore, the last part. The trailer's done like, wow, okay, what's uh, what happened there? So let me do the last part. With that little part, the little bass pulse. And that's it. And a lot of people put like that, like that big boom on the end. This was just more of like a rise moment. So here you can have that logo. And, and what Daredevil did, they of course have this very traditional joke in the end. So you have this very heavy, dramatic, dark, eerie trailer. All the things wild go loose. And then you have a little bit of like to break the ice. Like, hey, it's also fun. It's relaxed. It's, like, uh, it's still like to get you kind of into this escaping, uh, escapism world where you can just... I don't know, feel like how uh, Matt Murdock would feel in, in a world of where superheroes exist. And that's uh, and Marvel's, of course, very good at making things a little bit more comedic and not always like very heavy. Where DC, for example, is definitely keeping it like real, like very dark, real. I like that they have a mix. And I believe this was the second trailer. And, and sometimes they cho choose multiple ways to showcases so sometimes it's more of a big blockbuster uh, hollywood thing sometimes they want to show a little bit more of the dark side of things and this was a, the darker trailer so that was cool let me see if i missed anything out that is interesting to see let me see what the drones are doing here uh, for a second oh, i hear it this is actually too spicy so it's kind of very synthy very raw uh, and then of course the risers let me add that to as well so it's kind of almost like a plane is starting its engines Come with like a shepherd tone. It keeps building, keeps building. And you want that moment of climax where you're like, whoa, are we, where are we going? And an extra tone to that. Building. And stop. And then, of course, you see the last one. So let me also solo the last smaller reverses here. So you have that extra last edge to spike exponentially. So even there, sometimes there's a click in that. And that click is, again, when you don't cut your audio perfectly. And sometimes I left it in just to have a little bit of an attack on the kick. Probably some other audio designers and composers would say, you crazy. You can't do that. That's not official. But hey, I always try to listen to it. And if it sounds good, I'm thinking, yeah, okay, let's let's keep it there. There you have your track. And then again, uh, if you see on top of it, like I call it my intro, uh, there's like a little, uh, I, I think actually this is not completely right. There's a little stop. I call it this break, um, which is kind of the second part. You can say I divided a little bit of the, the pause, the break, as like a middle section between act one and two. Uh, then you have another stop, kind of a natural cue stop, um, and then say uh, you have the climax, climax part one. Uh, I call it here break and big climax. Uh, and I believe there's an extra note here for that extra 14 seconds. And I think that was added in uh, later because I see here you have like one, two, uh, three, four, and then they wanted an extra... What is it? Two, 
uh, two bars here to extra to finish up the trailer of Daredevil. Uh, and this is where the drums and kind of where the, the scream, uh, that weird kind of choir, what is it? Uh, the weird uh, horror scream uh, really came into play where it's like, okay, how can we make this more climactic? Like how, how can you even ramp that up? So that was the case. And then in total, so what they're also asking is like, so how do you deliver this then? So with all the feedback after... They really like this piece. They ask for the stems, and I kind of already said it. You kind of see it a little bit of a natural way. You make your groups, and all these groups are kind of selected as like, oh, cool. If you're brass, I actually have multiple brass here. This is a, this is not even that organized here. We have hits, extra percussion, and I have another extra percussion group. Uh, I'm not sure why that was the case. I believe this was the case because they wanted to have different percussion playing and sometimes they didn't want to use them all because it's quite of a hectic piece of music and then they have a choice to say mm, this is a little bit too much the same thing i did with the long riser sometimes they want to, to use that separately or maybe even replace it somewhere to say we need that rise earlier and then sometimes these uh, fx reverses also can be used on separate parts so if you're a composer you're really attached to your composition and your inter-trailer music be prepared that uh, people kind of kind of cut into your piece of art uh, but yeah, this has existed from um, from a, a part just randomly created, random of my, uh, my own fantasy, then eventually being picked for for Daredevil, for Netflix. We just did an iteration for it, make it like with, with the drums and extra, maybe a little bit of extra layers on the on the on the risers to make it even more accentuated. But a super fun thing to do. I think it's it's nice to see how you build something up like that. Also, what can be nice, what we can do in another. Uh, composers explain is what we do is where we go into more of the, the synthesizers use also the plugins that we use for something like this this was just a bound for audio so you can kind of kind of see how it's built up very curious also if you have any questions to um, what you have for if you see something like this is there anything that pops up just like oh i would love to see a little bit more in detail how you've created that please let us know in the comments maybe a good thing to kind of round this up is just see kind of what the result is and what kind of the differences were. There's some parts in it where you're like, hey, they kind of did a little bit of sound design in between here, and then they go back to the track. So I think it's nice to, to round it up with the, with the trailer itself. And maybe I give you some notes while watching. Here we go, the setup. Would you believe it if I said I missed you? No. I need your help, Matthew. You're the only person I can trust. Okay, Matt. Matt. You don't break into my house and then talk to me about trust. Okay, we go straight to that, like, second part. No break. What do you want from me? You fight better than anyone I know. Some extra sound design. And I have information. Some hits. The Yakuza never left. Okay. That's impossible. I drove them out of New York City. All right. No, you didn't. They just hibernated. Second part of that middle part. <laughs> Violence kicking yeah. strings. New York is ripe for the taking. If we do this, nobody dies. Do you understand? Ooh. A little break here. Extra sound design. Some of the hits used differently. Extra rise, I believe. And we go back to the track. Angry? Every time I walk First climax stairs, part. I wonder if today's the day you're dead in your living room. There are horrible things happening in this city. Horrible things. I'm done apologizing to you for who I am. Okay, we go to the second part already. The needs me. Where, the, where the voice was this kicking in. This isn't your city anymore. And these horror sounds. On the beat. My way isn't okay. working. What if that never has? Okay. The battle has begun, Matthew. There's nothing we can do. Building up to a break. Okay. They're in cold. Use the drums separately the now. Hand. You cannot stop what we have started. With a riser. The, the last part. Is coming. The octaves coming up. Trims louder. There you have the title. You've been working out, by the way. I appreciate that. And then you have the little joke. And then they use like a little part of like the small risers, the VFX, to kind of ramp up that last part. 
And there you have uh, the Daredevil trailer, the breakdown of it. For now, I want to thank you for watching. Let me know in the comments what you think and if you have any questions. Also, if you have some suggestions for other composers and the, and the titles that we worked on, we uh, will happily break them down. There's also other composer explain videos where we do a little bit more small breakups. This is more of a bigger one where uh, we go over some of the tips and tricks, maybe top trees or what we use in plugins to show you a little bit like how to create trailer music. For now, I want to thank you for watching and see you next time. Hey there, I appreciate you watching the video. If you like this one, check out this video or that video. And if you want to support the channel, make sure to click on top of my head on the logo and subscribe to the channel.